the image reflects the information about e-waste. It is clearly seen in the image there are two categories of waste, namely, electronic waste and electric waste. There are six categories of products and services, monitors, televisions, computers, DVD slash VCR players, and refrigerators. The highest e-waste is due to washing machines, dryers, air conditioners, vacuum cleaners, coffee machines, toasters, irons, etc., and the lowest e-waste is due to monitors and televisions. In conclusion, the image provides lots of information. The image talks about the greater one-horned rhino. The rhino is seen in different regions like Pakistan, India, Nepal, Myanmar, and Bangladesh. The rhino is in two categories, inferred historic distribution and current distribution. The inferred historic distribution is highlighted in gray color, whereas the current distribution is highlighted in black color. Majorly the current distribution region is covered under the inferred historic distribution. Overall, it can be said that it provides lots of information on rhino distribution. The image depicts the information about the Chiang Mai weather in Thailand. On the x-axis the months are given, and on the y-axis the temperature in degree Celsius is provided. It also provides information about the precipitation in them. The months are from January to December, the temperature provided is from 0 to 40, and the precipitation is from 0 to 300. The bar graph reflects the information about average precipitation. The line graph provides the information about the average low and average high. By closely looking at the image, it can be concluded that the minimum gap between the average high and the average low was observed in July and August month. The image is about the market where the fruits and vegetables are sold to the people. In the image, there are many people who are purchasing fruits and vegetables from the vendors. There are many vendors who are selling different types of fruits, and few vendors are selling vegetables. By closely looking at the image, it can be said that all the vendors are selling the products on small green colored hand carts or mini trucks. Many of them are using the blue umbrella as well to protect themselves and the food products from direct sunlight. Overall, it can be said that the image is very informative.
the image shows the information about the total solar eclipse. It is already known that the eclipse is always formed when the moon comes in between the earth and the sun. According to this image, when the moon is positioned between the sun and the earth, it casts a shadow on the surface of the earth. The darker shadow on the earth is the total eclipse, known as Umbra region and the lighter shadow is the partial eclipse named as Penumbra region. It is clearly highlighting the earth orbit and the moon orbit. Overall, the image is very informative. The image reflects the information about the countries and the percentage of people using the pencil in those countries. The countries mentioned are New Jersey, Chicago, South Carolina, Michigan, and Virginia. The percentage of people using a pencil in New Jersey is 50.680, Chicago is 46.750, South Carolina is 38.520, Michigan is 26.710, and Virginia is 18.950. The percentage difference between the highest and the lowest number is approximately 35.42%. In conclusion, the image is very informative. The image reflects the information about the occupational safety and health of the construction workers. There are different items and types of safety for the construction workers. The six major types of safety like hand gloves, cap, earplugs, goggles, shoes, and mask. The items highlighted in the image are in blue color and the construction person is wearing the clothes of yellow color. It is clearly observed from the image that the shoes and hand gloves are of brown color whereas the earplugs and caps are of yellow color. Overall, the image is very informative. The image talks about the coffee making process. In the image, it shows the process of making the coffee using the sugar and coffee beans. There are five steps involved in the process. In the first step, the milk is poured into the empty cup. Then, the coffee beans are added to the cup. Later on, the sugar is added to the same cup in which the beans are added. After that, all three ingredients, milk, coffee, and sugar are stirred and served. Overall, the image is very informative.
The image shows the people sitting in the theater. The theater is big and has many chairs. Moreover, all the people in the theater are wearing black goggles. The chairs in the theater are of red color. Additionally, the focus of the image is on the two youngsters who are eating the popcorns and drinks. Furthermore, people are feeling eager and excited to know the further scene in the movie. In conclusion, the image is very informative. The image reflects the information about the signs mentioned in the banners or hoardings of the historic garden. Moreover, it depicts information about the sign which conveys a different meaning. There are different sign or symbols. The first sign is about the prohibition in riding the bicycle in the historic garden. The second sign is about the prohibition in drinking the alcohol or any other beverages in the garden. Moreover, the third sign is about the prohibition of playing football or any other sports in the garden. And the last sign is about the non-prohibition in strolling and walking with pet dogs or animals. Overall, the image is very informative. The image is about the minimum ice thickness guidelines for nuclear ice only. It shows the different thickness of the ice and the safety of it on the basis of the different objects. When the thickness of the ice is less than 4 inches then it is equivalent to the weight of the swimming person. When the thickness of the ice is 4 inches then it is safe as a person sitting on it. When it is 5 to 7 inches, 8 to 12 inches and 12 to 15 inches then it is equivalent to water bike, car, and mini truck respectively. In conclusion, the image says that the ice is never 100% safe. The image is about the effect of the different seasons on the trees. The image has four trees in the image of them in different seasons. The seasons are winter, summer, autumn, and spring. In winter and summer, the trees are green and growing, whereas in the spring season the leaves of the tree are falling and in autumn it again brings the hope of growing. In conclusion, the image provides lots of information about the season and nature.
The image is about the graduation laboratory. The image shows information about the office, toilets, storage, computer station, point sciences, and animal sciences. There are different sections in the graduation laboratory. There are two entrance gates, one on the left side of the image and then another at the top of the image. When anyone enters from the left end of the entrance gate, on the left side, he or she will be able to see the storage, toilets, and behind the toilets the offices, and exactly in front, the area to read the books, and on the right side, the bookshelf for plant and animal species. The image is about the transformation of the computer now and then. The left side of the image shows the look of the computer earlier. The right side of the image shows the look of the computer now. Earlier the computer used to be very big with lots of features on the exterior part. Whereas now all the features and components are stored and included in the smaller computer device. Earlier the computer had a small screen, but now the computers have a big screen. Earlier the keyword and CPU were attached with the system only, but not it can be detached. In conclusion, the image shows information about the advancement in computer technology. The image is about the height of the different trees. The trees are hemlock, cedar, spruce, and Douglas fir. There are different height mentioned for those trees. The height of hemlock is 130 feet, cedar is 200 feet, spruce is 230 feet, and Douglas fir is 280 feet. The highest height is of Douglas fir, and the lowest height is of a hemlock tree. Overall, it can be said that the image is very informative. The image is about the wind power global capacity from 1996 to 2012. In the image, different years are mentioned. The gigawatts of the capacity is ranging from 0 to 300. Moreover, it can be seen that the highest capacity of wind power was in 2012 with approximately 283 gigawatts, whereas the lowest was observed in 1996 as 6.1 gigawatts. Overall, it can be said that there is an increasing trend since 1996.
the image is about the student's choice for studying abroad in 2018. The countries mentioned are New Zealand, Canada, Australia, UK, USA. Moreover, the percentage of students studying in New Zealand is 4%, Canada is 11%, Australia is 15%, the UK is 31%, the USA is 39%. Furthermore, it can be said that the highest number of students preferred to study in the USA in 2018. Overall, it can be concluded that the least number of students preferred to pursue studies from New Zealand. The image is about the structure of hands of different species. The different species are human, seal and birds. The human have hands, seals have limbs, and birds have wings. In the human arm, the different parts are hand, wrist, fingers, radius, ulna, and humerus. In the seal limbs, the structure of the same parts is different and a bit bent. Whereas in the bird's wings the additional feature of wings is included. Overall. It can be said that with the same parts of the hands the species have a different structure. The image is about the process of the fruits. It shows the five-step process of providing the grapes from the farm to the market. The first step of the process is to collect the grapes from the farm. The next step is to transport the collected grapes to the factory of the warehouse. In the third step, the transported grapes pass through the quality check process. And after that, the good quality grapes are sent to the market. Overall, the flowchart is very informative. The image is about the product life cycle. The life cycle or the span of the product depends on sales and time. When the product is in the starting phase of the time, the sale of the product is zero, but when the product is in growth phase its sales increases, but with the passage of the time, there is a decline in the product sales. The peak of the product is achieved in the maturity phase. Overall, it can be said that the product always goes through the different phase of sales to reach stability.